welcome back to Blissful Journeys, finding happiness on purpose. I'm not even sure what day it is anymore because I missed a few days, but I'm back here to tell you what I've learned from these three days that I've needed to take off for myself. The universe never gives us more than we can handle. And so when we raise our vibration, when we get to a certain level where where things feel really good and life is great and everything is lining up, then I start seeing these signals. I needed to take some rest. I was getting sore in my hips. I was exhausted. Um, allergies were acting up. All of these were signals that it was time to slow down and stop and take some rest. And because my schedule was so busy, um, I wasn't listening. I wasn't listening to these signals. And that added frustration, that added anger, that added angst in the things that I was doing. I was feeling guilty for not getting as much done, even during those times when I was trying to balance rest and my workload. But when I finally realized what was happening, I noticed that there was going to be a huge energy shift and that it was preparing me for this energy shift. I, yesterday I set the intention that I am open to receive and I was ready to, to, to experience what I needed to experience. And then frogs started to come into my mind. I, I was thinking about frogs for a few different things and hearing frogs. I didn't see frogs, but it was only a few weeks ago when a friend mentioned that um, when you see animals or hear animals or they're on your mind or you dream about them, then look into the spirit of that animal. So I Googled spirit of the frog and what it was telling me was that it was it was a time of purification and renewal and allowing the water to flow through me, which is my tears, to, to allow that water to flow through me for purification. So all of these things were lining up together to show me that I was high vibe enough to accept this huge trauma that I needed to process. I won't get into it too much, but it was really about uh, boundaries and my lack of boundaries and how that has shown up through a lot of my life. So I'm super grateful for being able to process that, being able to release it. And I'm going to be talking to the people I need to talk to, to get through, you know, the rough energy around what, what that came up for. But now I'm able to talk about it. And that's, that's so important, being able to talk about things that you've been holding inside for so long. <sighs> so I share this story of why I got to this point in the first place. After 20 years of being on antidepressants and being numb, disconnected from my body, and not present for my life, just people pleasing and um, living my life for others. It has brought me to this place of disconnection. I was so disconnected from myself. I was so numb. I was stuck. I was on autopilot and I needed a change. Cannabis to me was that catalyst. It helped me to connect my mind and my body together. But being able to to step outside and and see things as an observer versus experience through that stuff again and just go back into that depression it opened my eyes it opened my mind and um and i'm able to do this <laughs> i'm able to process that and move on and it feels so much lighter because of it now don't get me wrong even over these few days that i was ghosting. <laughs> I was not online. There was happiness in every one of those days, even when I needed rest, even when I felt so depleted. Right now, our season has the most beautiful trees. Our yard is just 
so beautiful. The trees, the, the white flowers, they're just so plump and they smell amazing. And then the purple and then my neighbor's pink flowers. I got my hair recolored and I'm loving the vibrant red that feels amazing. And I even got to to trade. I love the barter system. I traded some of my, my own products for, for a new hair color. And I fixed up my sacred space, my morning routine, and just made it feel me and cleaner and cover up some of the, the clutter that's in my basement. So I found a lot of these little things to, to keep me going and to keep me happy and keep focusing on, on the good things of life so that I didn't get sucked into that, uh, that low feeling that I used to just turtle. <laughs> it was, it would have been hard to get out of that state if I didn't already experience the previous days of high vibe and high energy. It's another step. It's a new day and there's going to be so much good coming out of this. Thank you so much for following my journey. I'm going to continue on and I'm going to show you how finding happiness on purpose helps us to get through those tough times helps us to find the happiness and joy in, in the good times and the hard times, and especially when we need it the most. Keep following, like and share, share your stories. I'd love to hear what you have to say when you've created happiness on purpose in your life and what it reveals for you. I love you and I'll see you tomorrow.